Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my first Christmas video of the season. I am so glad you're here. Today I'm going to be giving you tons of Christmas motivation. I have a little decor haul. I'm gonna show you guys a few things that I picked up. We're gonna bake Christmas cookies. My husband's gonna join me in doing that tonight because that's something that we love doing together. Um, and then we're gonna take down Every time I turn the camera on and start talking, she thinks I'm talking to her, but we're gonna take down our fall decor. You guys are seeing this on Thursday and I am decorating for Christmas on Saturday. So I've gotta get my fall decor out of here. Bye bye until next year. We gotta make room for Christmas. So I hope that you guys enjoy. If you wanna see more Christmas videos, please give this video a thumbs up. That is like the easiest way for me to know what kind of content you guys are enjoying. So thank you for watching and let's get into the haul. Christmas when you have cats is just a totally different experience. Okay, first thing I wanna show is this stocking. I ordered this off of Land's End. My husband and I and our son all have one. It's our daughter's first Christmas, so she didn't have one yet. Okay, speaking of, she decided to wake up way too early from her nap and join us. So anyway, here's what it looks like. A little gingerbread house. It's so cute. It's so like feminine and girly. Um, we, my brother and I had these from Land's End whenever I was growing up. So it is just like holy nostalgia for me to see that. And I really wanted my whole family to have them. Next, I got this little door hanger from At Home. Oh, I just noticed it's got like a little gift tag on it. I'm trying to show it closer because it's kind of hard to do this while holding a baby. I'm gonna hold off saying where I'm going to put everything because I will have a Christmas decorating video out next week. Um, it'll be on Tuesday, right before Thanksgiving. So if you wanna see how I use all of this, then definitely stay on the lookout for that video. But this was $16.99. Sticking with at home, um, she likes the look of this. I got this little garland. This was only $5.99. Yeah, it's just like turquoise and light pink. It's super cute. And I also got this, this was $20. Um, be super cute just to like sit out on a table for decorations put some ornaments in it or obviously like use it for dessert or something Okay, well I got 16 of these ornaments only three are left in here um, But they're just kind of like a typical pink color and this was only five dollars for 16 of them so if you're building up your ornament collection like if you just moved out or something then at home would be a good place to look. Okay, I think this might be my favorite thing. I got this little gingerbread house, it's $15. It is so cute, it's super sparkly. The lady who was checking us out was telling me to spray all of this stuff with hairspray and it will help hold the sparkles in. So we might be trying that out. Okay, I just got one thing from Home Goods. This little pillow, it says let it snow. And I love it because like no matter what theme or colors I'm doing, it can go with whatever. And I love how it has like a little church on the side. This is $25 and it's super like, like heavy. <laughs> okay, I just got a couple of things from Hobby Lobby. This was, it says $21, all their stuff was 60% off. So I'm not gonna do the math, but got this cute little pink tree with all the ornaments. I know. Not only is Christmas with cats a totally different experience, but Christmas with babies is a totally different experience. Yeah, I know. I got this like long ornament garland. Um, it's so pretty. This was $12, 60% off, um, and it's 68 inches. How does it taste? And then I got this cute little snow globe. Look how adorable it is. Okay, and then I got this little ornament. It's like, I think it's supposed to be a monkey for a baby's first Christmas. And then last thing I got is, <laughs> she's just loving everything, is this little candy cane Christmas tree. Yeah, I know, you wanna eat it. So that's all the stuff I got. I don't feel like it's that much. Um, but I do have a lot of stuff from previous years. So like I said, Christmas decorating video will be next Tuesday. Now we're gonna get into baking Christmas cookies later on tonight. I forgot to set the butter out so I'd be room temp. So I'm just hugging it with my hands and it's actually working quite nicely. Good. Okay, so we're gonna get started on the dough first. Um, I'll have the recipe linked down below, but you're gonna need flour, 
cocoa powder. It actually calls for half cocoa powder and half dark cocoa powder, but it's $23 for one can of cocoa powder. The black cocoa powder. Wow. Yeah, so we're just gonna <laughs> use normal. I don't think I said these are peppermint candy cane cookies. Baking soda, one stick of butter, room temp. <laughs> sugar, um, brown sugar, and eggs. Also, peppermint extract is optional. I ordered some in our grocery order today, and they're mailing it. It's not gonna be here until tomorrow, but it works out better for him because he doesn't like chocolate and peppermint together. But hey, I'll give it a shot, and we'll see what happens. Okay, so we're gonna add two cups of flour. Alexa, yes. stop. <laughs> then you're going to need a half cup total of cocoa powder. I don't know what that tastes like, just plain. Not good. Bad. No, because whenever I was a kid, I tried it. Because I thought that it was like the same thing as like hot chocolate powder. It's not? <laughs> Hold on, let me get a spoon. A spoon. You're not gonna want that much. I'm not gonna get a full spoon. Look, 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 look. There you go. It's like a little. It's like a little, little bit. Oh. in your mouth and then you couldn't get it out and then it just got worse okay, then you're gonna need one teaspoon baking soda and a half a teaspoon of sea salt and then you whisk okay so then in a mixer you're gonna add one stick of room temp butter and actually look how well that worked though it i'm impressed it worked i got that out of the fridge like right as you were setting that up it worked surprisingly well especially considering your like always cold yeah like 10 degrees colder than you should be all right and then you add a half a cup of sugar tessa's not here so i guess some real sugar will substitute well wait no what? <laughs> oh my gosh I have, uh, wait that's a third that's cup. A <laughs> you had one job okay well a third a cup is less than a half a cup so yeah it, it, work, it works out it's Better than the reverse way. <laughs> You're never gonna invite me back. The I, was funny busy, thing... I was too busy over here trying to compliment you. <laughs> <laughs> the funny thing is that Alex thinks he's a baker. Thinks? I know I'm a baker, okay? I made Those some... Those muffins were good that one time. Okay, now you're gonna beat this on high for two to three minutes. <laughs> make, make sure your mixing bowl is secured. Okay, make, make sure it's actually secure. Next, you're gonna add your two eggs and your peppermint extract if you have any. <laughs> no salt here at all. No. Alright, next. <clears throat> You're gonna add your flour mixture and mix until just combined. Yeah, so I'm just gonna do it kind of on low. Okay, 
Okay, so this is what your dough should look like. You're going to put it in saran wrap and then refrigerate it for at least an hour or overnight. We don't have any longer than an hour because we're old. Yeah. So while we wait for this in the fridge, we're going to take down our fall decor. So what do you have to say to the husbands who are Grinches and their wives are all like Mrs. Claus and trying to be holly jolly and they're just not into it? I promise you, you'll get so much more out of the season if you embrace it. There you go. And if you're not married yet, don't marry a Grinch. Yes. Here is all of our fall decor. See you next year. Okay, so it's been about two hours. I'm gonna use an ice cream scoop to scoop the dough onto the baking sheet. Okay, then you're gonna bake these at 350 for 10 minutes. While those bake, I'm going to crush up some candy canes. I'm just going to put them into a Ziploc bag and then just a glass jar using some hot sauce. Plan is to just kind of like stomp on it with this and hopefully that'll work fine. Okay, things are just getting worse and worse because I was supposed to dip these in white chocolate, which I was sure I had, but either I just can't see it in the pantry or I really don't have it, but I do have just milk chocolate, so we're gonna make do. We had fun tonight, so that's all that matters. The recipe also recommended adding some vegetable shortening to make it like a little bit thinner, but I didn't say how much, so. Just start off with a little bit, I guess. My cookies look nothing like the picture. I just can't imagine where we went wrong. Okay, so what you're gonna do is dip the top part of the cookie, so about half of it is covered with chocolate. Obviously, if you're using white chocolate, it's gonna look a lot better, but it's fine. And then you're gonna sprinkle with candy canes. Hey, yeah. I was born ready. See how bad the peppermint is for you. Cheers. Cheers. I think it was good. I think it was very good. Would Even with the peppermint? Would prefer it without the peppermint, personally. Mm -hmm. But it's good. Oh, I think it's great. You did a great job. You did a great job messing up. Okay, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I will see you on Sunday. Bye. You don't say bye? Bye. <laughs> bye.